President, please be seated. The court is now back in session. And I'd like now to hand the floor to the defense team for kills and points to put questions to this witness. You may proceed, counsel. Merci, Monsieur le Président. Thank you, Mr. President. Good afternoon, Madam Witness. My name is Anta Gise. I am international co-counsel for Mr. Kiyo Sampan. And in this capacity, I will put a few follow-up questions to you. I would like us to start by talking about the time when you were arrested in Sach Koche Kandal village. You, if I remember correctly, you said that you were arrested in 1978. Can you tell me who came and arrested you on that day? No, they did not come to uh, make the arrest. I was in the uh, mobile unit, and we were told to go to uh, harvest rice in some round, in Kossam round, and later we were sent to Tria village where we were detained. In fact, uh, no one came to arrest me at my house. But uh, we were told to have a rise in Kossam Rao. However, instead, we were sent to Tria village, uh, Tria village 2 to be detained there. Qui vous a dit que Who told you that you had to go and harvest rice in that other village? It was the uh, cadre from Holes of Group. So members of my mobile unit were called, and then I, I went uh, with the whole uh, group. When you say cadres from host group, are you re referring to the same persons that you saw in the house where you were detained? Yes, I refer to the same person. They uh, came to call me, and then uh, later on, when we were on the house, they uh, went up to the house with home. Est-ce que vous pouvez? Can you specify how many people there were at the time in your village of Sach Proche Kandal? How many persons were present? How many men and how many women? I cannot tell you how many women and how many men there were. I was a pretty young girl back then. I did not uh, pay my attention to the specific or the exact number of men and women. Je vous pose cette question parce que I am putting this question to you because a little earlier you referred to the presence of three persons in the house at Trier, unless I am mistaken. Did I indeed understand that there were three persons in that house at Trier? Are you referring to three persons in the house where we were detained, or you refer to another house? Non, je parle bien de la. No, I am talking of the house in which you were detained, and I'm talking about the persons who stood guard. I'm not talking of the the number of girls from your village. I'm talking of the guards. You gave the figure of three as that of the persons 
who stood guard in that house. They, we were not the guard leader. They were, rather, there were no guards on the house. Actually, there were guards and they were armed and they were uh, under the house. And when they went up the house, they actually went up the house to tie us up. Let me try to clarify the matter in another manner. You talked of a situation in which there were three young men and one woman. Did I properly understand your testimony when you were referring to the situation in the house at Tria? What I stated that uh, Four persons uh, came to the house, uh, three men and one woman. They came with strips of cloth to tie us up. And that's what I stated. And I did not say that they went up the house to uh, guard us. And on the house, in fact, there was only our group of uh, 36 people. However, there were armed guards under the house. Bien, maintenant, ma Very well. My question now has to do with the time when you were in your village at Sakroche Kandal. My question is whether it was the same persons who came to tie you up, who came to fetch you in your village. Was it the same persons or some other persons? We uh, were called to go there by uh, people in the village. However, when we were in the house, we were arrested uh, by whole subordinates. Uh, who was there watching the event. He did not make the arrest himself. I have indeed understood that he was one, not the one who carried out the arrest. My question is whether the persons who came to fetch you in your home in the village are the same who came to tie you up. I did not know the uh, person who came to tell us to go. However, it was a different uh, group. And when we were in Tria village, we were uh, arrested and tied up by a, another group. Actually, those who uh, went to uh, call us to go to Tria village later returned when we arrived in Tria village. D'accord. Et ceux qui vous ont con Very well. And who were the persons who led you to Tria village? Were they from your village? They were part of a working group, but I did not know who they were. It is my understanding that uh, they were working uh, together with uh, the group in uh, the Tria village. I would like us to talk about the time when you were in Tria village. And you said that approximately 36 young girls from your village were assembled. Did I properly understand from your testimony that there weren't any other persons from another village or other villages who came to join you in that house? As I have uh, testified, 
my uh, a group was those villagers in my uh, village and they were part of the uh, mobile unit there were no outsiders Et vous avez indiqué and you stated that you stayed in that house for 24 hours and when there were only 16 of you left you moved house did any other persons join you in the second house you relocated to or there were only the 16 of you who had relocated to that house there were only 16 of us and there were there was no one else Et est-ce que vous vous souvenez combien Do you recall for how long you stayed in that second house? That is the 16 of you. I was in the first house where we were detained uh, for 24 hours and then I was moved to the uh, second house and I was there for five days. Et après ces cinq jours, and after the five days, where did you go to? After the five day period, I was uh, sent uh, to my mobile unit and then to, to the Kalochima office. In fact, uh, a house there uh, actually had a pile of clothes and those clothes were uh, from the people who were uh, killed. And the, a group of 16 of us uh, were sent there to to gather and to to collect uh, those clothes. Je conclue, uh, I conclude from what you say that Nosatas also joined you in that uh, house, that is, joined the 16 of you, where you went to fetch the clothes, is that correct? I cannot recall whether uh, Nosatas went there or not. We were placed in a house and I don't know whether every one of us from the 16 uh, people group went to uh, fetch the clothes. Actually, at that time, some of us uh, did not feel well, and I cannot tell you whether Nosatas uh, was one of those who were sent to fetch the cloth. Mais au moins vous pouvez. However, you can at least confirm that she was one of the 16 persons who had been sent to that uh, house at. Um, Yes, indeed. And I did not uh, observe whether she was with us or not when we went to fetch the clothes. And please uh, remember that this happened, this even uh, happened a long time ago. It was about 40 years ago. So maybe uh, my memory doesn't serve me, uh, me well in this regard. Il n'y a aucun problème, madame. No worries, madam. I just wanted you to relate to us the trend of events you related. Now let us talk about the time when you were at the house in Trier and precisely about the event you said you witnessed. I would like you to describe to the chamber the house at Tria. What did it look like? The 
house where we uh, were detained was uh, pretty large and uh, it was uh, located on uh, wooden poles. And, and later on, when I uh, was asked to take the investigator uh, to go to visit uh, the house, actually the house uh, was uh, removed and a new house was built in its location. Et dans cette maison. And in that house at Tria in 1978, can you specify how far the pit was from that house? That is, the pit above which persons were executed. In the French interpretation, I heard eight meters from the house, and then I heard 100 meters. Can you please be more specific? The distance uh, from the house to the pit was 8 meters. It was not 80 or 100 meters. If it was that far, I would not be able to see it. In fact, it was only about 8 meters uh, from the house. It was a uh, pretty uh, large. There was one large pit, and there were about four or five smaller pits. And there was a, a tamarind tree near the main pit. Vous avez également parlé. You also refer to a river close by. Can you tell us how far that river was from the house? The distance between the house where I was detained and the uh, river bank was about eight meters. So the house was about 8 meters to the river bank and 8 meters on the other side uh, through the uh, pit. It was like the house was in the middle of the, uh, between the river bank and the pit. Vous, je, je comprends de votre... I understand from your testimony that there were soldiers below the house and you lived above. Is that correct? Yes, that is correct. Est-ce que vous vous souvenez si vous étiez debout? Do you recall whether you were standing or sitting in that house because you were a young girl in that house at Tria? When we were instructed to uh, line up, they started to uh, tie us up, and then some would be sent uh, off the house uh, to be uh, killed, while my group remained on the house. And my question was whether you were on your feet or you were sitting while you were inside the house? Uh, we uh, were on our feet when we were instructed to be tied up, and after we had been tied up, uh, we sat down on the floor in the house. Vous avez évoqué une fenêtre you talked of a window in that house. Can you tell us where exactly that window was in that house? Uh, to my knowledge, it was located on the west side of the house. But uh, in Tria Village, if we were to pray, we would pray uh, to the west side, that is to the river front. And maybe that uh, was known as uh, to the north. When we pray, we would pray to the west direction, that is toward the river bank, and the 
the pit was on the opposite of the uh, river bank, so it was like it was behind us. So it and the pit was uh, through the west of the house. It was about eight meters away from the house. And after I was tied up, my uh, knees shook, so I sat down. Et de là où vous étiez assis. And from where you were seated, how far were you from the window? I uh, was sitting rather far from the window. However, after people were sent out of the house uh, through two at a time, then I moved myself closer to the window, and that's when I tried to uh, look through the crack of the window and saw uh, what happened. So allow me to clarify, after people had been moved out of the house, I moved myself closer to the uh, window where the uh, crack was there that I could see through. And initially I was sitting rather far from the window, but I moved uh, gradually after people had been uh, taken out of the house. When you said there was a crack on the window, do I understand that it wasn't uh, a window with uh, glass panes, but it was a wooden window? Was it a wooden window? In fact, uh, the uh, windows did not have any open grills. However, a plan, a wooden plan, was used uh, to uh, make a window. It was not the uh, normal windows uh, with uh, wooden grills. D'accord, donc si je comprends bien. Very well. If I understand correctly, the only chink in the window, the only opening through which you could see through the window was a crack. Is that correct? Bad low. In fact, uh, a, uh, about uh, three fingers uh, thick uh, chunk of the uh, wooden plant actually uh, broke and fell uh, off that uh, window, and that's how I could uh, see through. It was not a small crack. Et vous, um you stated that it was at nightfall, but you said you were able to see what was happening outside because the moon was full. Can you tell us what time it was when you said you witnessed the executions? It uh, happened around 7 o'clock because it happened a while after the sun was about to set. And so when it's dark, they took the people off the house. Est-ce que vous pouvez m'indiquer combien... Can you tell me for how long you were uh next to that window on that day. I did not sit there for a, a long time because uh, people were taken continuously off the house. So uh, my estimation is that I remained uh, sitting near the window for about an hour or a little bit, a bit over an hour. Et 
est-ce que euh, pendant euh, le... Vous avez indiqué que... You stated that while you, the young girls, were in the house, the guards were not inside the house, but under the house. Were you able to talk to any of the young girls at any point in time? We did not uh, dare to uh, talk. Everybody was so quiet. Even if when I was thirst thirsty, I did not dare ask for water. I was uh, terrified when I saw uh, quite a large number of uh, soldiers. Donc, si je comprends... Very well. So if I understood you correctly, you were silent inside that house. Yes. Tout à l'heure, lorsque mon confrère... A while ago, when my colleague put questions to you t to find out whether you heard any cries coming from outside and whether the other young girls had heard such cries, you said you couldn't speak for the others. And now you've just told me that all was silent inside the house. Now tell me, did the people who were present in you in the house hear what was happening outside? Could they hear what was happening outside? President, International Court Prosecutor, you had the floor. The same objection as with the other counsel. She cannot testify to what other people heard. Je vais poser la question. Let me put the question uh, differently. Is it the fact that the house was uh, quiet that allowed you to hear what was happening outside? I, uh, you asked me a question that while I was detained there amongst the 36 uh, people, whether we uh, could talk. And I said, no, we did not dare to talk. We were all in shock. And uh, later on, a woman and three men came up to the house to arrest us. And we were still uh, silent. And later on, when they took two of us each time out of the house to be killed, we actually uh, talked quietly amongst ourselves. And I uh, talked to the remaining 15 other people because I saw what happened. I saw uh, those people being killed uh, through uh, that uh, window. And because some of those who were killed were uh, my relatives, that's why I tried to see what uh, they did to my relatives. And maybe those other uh, people did not look through the window because uh, they did not have any relative who were uh, uh, let off the house. Earlier, when you were answering uh, the questions put to you by my colleague, uh, Victor Cope, he asked you if uh, you had told the other young girls or spoke about what you had seen outside, and you said that you were too afraid and that you did not speak. Now you're telling us that uh, you were whispering and that you finally described what you saw through the window. So, did you speak to the young girls about, uh, the young girls, that is to say, who were in the house? Did you speak to them about what you saw or not? co prosecutor Mr. President, I did not hear the witness said that 
when the young Cham girls were taken away to be killed, she said that she she did not she did not say that she whispered about what she witnessed. What she said was that the people in the house were in shock. So this is the point I would like to clarify. Well, I believe the transcript uh, will show the reality. But in any case, that's what I heard in the translation. In any case, I would like to ask the witness again. When the people were taken away to be executed, did you, yes or no, speak about uh, or whisper uh, about what you saw to the un other young girls to tell them what you had seen through the window? As I told you that I did not whisper to anyone. I saw it and then I kept it to myself. I did not tell anyone else. So there was, I did not whisper to anyone else. And without having uh, spoken about this to the young girls at Tria that day, when you ended up at 16 at Korchma, did you then describe uh, the scene you uh, saw to any of the 15 young girls who were with you afterwards? Bad luck. No, I did not tell them. I was scared about my own life, so I did not tell anyone. So must I understand that uh, until the moment you fled, let us say a little bit before the arrival of the Vietnamese, you never spoke about these scenes with uh, whomever was with you uh, in the house uh, in uh, Trier? No, I did not tell anyone. And in particular, Nosatas, who was with you at Kroshma as well, you never spoke to her about that scene either. Mine. Yes, that's correct. I did not tell her. Mon confrère tout à l'heure. My colleague um, referred uh, to a discussion you had with Mr. Isa Osman. And do you remember when uh, this uh, interview took place with uh, Isa Osman? No, I cannot recall the year when I was interviewed. I did not record the, the date. If I tell you that this interview took place in 2003, and I'm referring to document E3-7745 on the first page, which states that the interview took place on 25 January 2003, does that refresh your memory? Very long. At that time, he interviewed me. That so the in interview really take, took place. He asked me about my age, my name, but I cannot recall the year that the interview took place. He asked me questions about the 
years and months referring back to what happened in the Khmer Rouge regime and I told him accordingly. Did you see him once or several times? I saw Osman once in Kampong Cham. So, the day that he took notes during the interview is the only time you saw him. And I understand that you did not see him again to provide uh, extra information. Am I right? Yes, only once. I did not meet him again. And when you were interviewed by the investigators of the OCIJ, do you remember having um, provided corrections uh, to the interview you gave uh, uh, in to Mr. Usa Osman in 2003? No, they did not ask me to correct. You said uh, that uh, you were with Miss Nosatas in this house and that then later you met again in Krochma. I understood your testimony in which you said that you could only talk about what you had seen, but since Nosata testified before this chamber, I would like uh, to submit to you a certain number of her statements and ask you questions in that regard to see uh, if you can confirm uh, your testimony or not. On the hearing of... Um, Let me uh, find uh, the document, uh, well, the reference to this document. Well, in any case, uh, during a hearing here before the chamber, Nosata said, oh, here I have it. Uh, therefore, at the hearing of um, 29 September 2015, document E1-351.1, uh, a little bit be after 11, 33 and 21 seconds, Nosatas confirmed that th there were 300 people in the house in Trier. So my question is the following. Can you confirm that in this house in Trier, you were only 36 young girls? The house that we were all detained consisted of only 36 people. I cannot speak for no staff who mentioned that the numbers were different. Uh, now, with regard to the um, interrogation that took place uh, in Trier by Hall. Can you tell us uh, if this interrogation took place uh, in the room where all of the young girls were grouped together? Yeah, Hall sat down and interrogated all of us so we were all sitting together and when you were being interrogated did he take you aside or were you 
interrogated in the same place where you were sitting. He interrogated all of us as one group. Earlier, you said to my colleague, Victor Kopi, that you did not know which questions were put to Nosatas. So under these conditions, must I understand that you do not remember the questions that were put to her? When they interview Nosatas, they, I did not know what questions were asked to Nosata. So I knew only the questions that they asked us when we were assembled as a whole group. In the interpretation I heard which the questions which they put to you, but do we agree it was only Ho who put questions to you, or uh, were the other cadres who were present uh, also questioning you? Only Ho alone asked us question. There were no one else. Now I would like to return uh, to the book by Isa Osman, in which your interview is present. Aside from Nosatas, um, do you remember other young girls who were present with you in Trier and who then followed you to Krochma afterwards? The remaining people who survived the regime, some of them have already passed away now. When we went to Krochma, all of us went there together. But from that time until now, some of them have already passed away. Yes, but my question was, do you remember the names of some of the other people who left Trier to go to Krochma? That is to say, among the 16 people who are with you at Krochma, do you remember the names of some of these people? I remember Sata, Chu, Sam, Sa, Sarah. Rajan, Na, An Sra'ai, Matsah, Sarah, Tayyom, most of them already passed away. The last uh, point of clarification I, I asked uh, from you regarding, that is to say, the distance between the pit and the house. In a statement in document E3-7747, uh, English ERN 00274733, Khmer 00204417, French 00274736, uh, you spoke about uh, a distance of 50 meters 
between uh, the house and the pit. So uh, do you stand by uh, your straight statement that it was only eight meters away? That low, uh I stand by my statement that the distance is eight meter from the house to the pits. Earlier, when you were answering a question that was put to you by my national colleague uh, from, or by the national colleague from the Nunchia team, you spoke about your marriage that took place three months uh, after you were detained at Trier. And I didn't understand then if you had known your husband before or if you got to know him before you left for Trier or if you met him afterwards. As I said a while ago that I knew him when we were in the mobile unit and then he proposed for our marriage. Well, I was confused by the fact that uh, before you arrived at Trier, you were already part of a mobile unit, and after you left Trier, you joined the mobile unit again. So my question is that do we agree that it was when you were in Krochma that you met your husband? Yes, that is correct. After the incident that people were taken away to be killed, and then I met him in the mobile unit. You also said uh, that um, it were your it was your father-in-law who apparently came to see you to see uh, if you would agree to marry his son. So do you know if your husband's family originally came from Krochma? No, uh, he did not come from Krochma. He was based in Trier P. Autre question. Another question. You said uh, that this marriage took place uh, with other groups, so it was a collective marriage involving ten couples, if I understood correctly. So can you Tell me who conducted that ceremony. The 70 couples were, were organized by by them. By them, who? Who exactly? I did not know who they were and where they came from. So I did not know how to answer your question. I just knew about the whether they asked me whether I was interested in marriage, and I I said yes, and yeah, the marriage took place. Aside from your father-in-law, who asked you if uh, you were uh, interested in getting married? Was it a cadre from the mobile unit, or was it another cadre from the commune or from the district uh, spoke to you about this? Mm. 
bát lúc No, they did, they did not ask me The marriage was simply organized and we were all asked to hold our hands to symbolize our agreement to get married. So where did this marriage take place? It took place, the wedding took place in Triapi. Was Ho the district chief present? Uh, uh, regarding the presence of Ho, uh, I do not understand this president. Whether the chief Ho attended your marriage and the marriage of the 70 couples that took place on the same day with your marriage? Witness answer, no, he did not attend the marriage ceremony, but members of his units came to attend the ceremony. You then said uh, that uh, you fled. Why did you flee? After my marriage, we fled because we heard the rumor that those 70 couple who were just married would be taken away to be killed. And when we heard this news, we were scared and fled into the forest. I asked you all of these questions, Madame, because on the case file we have a statement that was made before the investigators of the OCIJ, one of your statements, uh, document E3-5194. In which you say regarding who had married the 70 couples and regarding also why you fled, and this is what you say in French, ERN 00268839, Khmer 00204400. English zero zero two seven four seven zero eight and nine, I believe, as well. First, um, you said um, that uh, you had found uh, among the clothes you had washed your mother's clothes. Can you confirm that? Yes, I can clarify this point. As I said earlier, that when I went to the mo I was sent to the mobile unit. I went to fetch the clothes of my parents in Krochma. And after I came back, I got married. It doesn't mean that after I joined the mobile unit, I, I, I got married. I got married after I came back from fetching the clothes in Krochma, and I saw my parents' clothes and their belonging. How 
How did you recognize your parents' clothes? I could identify their belongings easily. J'avais cru comprendre. I believe I understood that when you answered the co-prosecutor, you said that after a certain that everyone that uh, that after a certain point in time people were no longer wearing uh, traditional clothes. So did I understand your testimony properly? Yes, that's correct. We were not allowed to wear the traditional clothes. But when I found the clothes, I kept a few of them to keep us our family heritage. I, I brought with me only two shirts. Well, so the clothes in question are clothes that had stayed uh, in, that had remained in your parents' home, is that correct? No, the clothes were not in my house. My parents were assembled with other people in front of the pagoda. And they removed the clothes and the clothes were put in the warehouse. And it were mingling with clothes from other people. Now I would like to turn back uh, to the question of the marriage. So this is what is said in the statement E3 slash 5194. You say that immediately after having seen the clothes, we, my husband and myself, fled into the forest uh, because Ho stated that he would execute all of the 70 couples whom he had married. And I did not know why he took that decision. And we fled during the night and we remained in the forest until the fall of the regime. I was seven months pregnant and life was very hard. End of quote. Free question, so my first question is, uh, did Ho carry out the marriages of the 70 couples, yes or no? Yes, it was Ho who organized uh, the uh, wedding, although he himself did, uh, was not present at the wedding ceremony, only his uh, deputy was there. Et le jour and on the day you saw your parents' clothing, in any case your mother's clothing, as you indicated in the statement, how, m how long was that after the wedding or the marriage that was organized? Regarding the uh, clothing, in fact, when I went to tidy up and fetch the uh, clothes, I was not yet uh, married. Maybe the document that you refer to is not uh, accurate. The marriage did not take place before I went to fetch the clothes. I saw the clothes uh, of my parents before I got married. And in the extract, I quoted, it is stated that you were seven months pregnant can you tell the chamber how long before the arrival of the Vietnamese on the 7th of January 1979, how long after that did you get married? 
or how long before the Vietnamese arrived did you get married? I got married after I actually uh, was sent to tidy up the clothes and where I saw the clothes of my parents and when I returned from the uh, mobile unit I uh, was organized to marry my husband in Tree to village and later on we fled to the forest and actually at that time I had morning sickness, uh, sickness because I was uh, pregnant and when I uh, left the forest I was a seven month uh, pregnant, so we stayed for quite a long while uh, in the forest. And this will be my last question. How long before the arrival of the Vietnamese did you get married? I cannot recall how many uh, months uh, there were. When the Vietnamese arrived, I had already been married. I was uh, pregnant uh, when the Vietnamese arrived, but I cannot recall the, the number of months. And now I am getting old and my memory is not uh, that well. Je suis consommé du sang, Monsieur le Président, donc je... I'll stop here, Mr. President. Okay, uh, Judge Fans, uh, do you have the floor? Uh, I, I have a few questions which unexpected for me when asked by the defense. Uh, it's about this wedding and the marriage. Um, so can we at least agree that the wedding happened in 1978, sometime late in 78? Is this correct? Yes. Now you mentioned that the people who um, oversaw or the wedding came from outside. That the, but that people were present at the wedding who actually knew you. Is this correct? Right. To be clear that officials were present, Khmer Rouge officials were present who knew you before the wedding. Is this correct? I uh, did not know if the uh, Khmer Rouge officers actually knew me. Uh, okay, let me put the question another way. Was there anybody from the Khmer Rouge there who knew at the time of the wedding that both you and your husband were Cham? Do you know that? Yes, they knew that we were a uh, charm. The, uh, the cadres knew that. Did, was it ever raised as an issue that charm married among each other, as far as you know, or was this never raised? If you know. No, I did not hear them saying anything about this. Um, are you aware of any other cases where Cham married Cham during the decay period? Perhaps some of your friends? No, 
I was not aware of that. So the only case where, to your knowledge, the charm married the charm with the authorities knowing is your own wedding. Is that correct? Yes. Um, okay, thank you. Bye. President, thank you, Judge Friends. The hearing of uh, testimony of Madame Mazzo now concludes, and the Chairman is grateful uh, of your uh, time, Madame Mazzo, for your uh, one day testimony. Your testimony may contribute to ascertaining the truth in this matter, and uh, you are no longer required uh, to be in uh, the courtroom, and you may go wherever you uh, wish to, and we wish you all the very best. Court officer, please uh, cooperate with Wesu to make necessary transport arrangement for uh, Madame Matzo to return to her house or wherever she wishes to go to. The chamber will adjourn its uh, hearing now and resume tomorrow, that is Thursday, 14 January 2016, commencing from 9 o'clock in the morning. Tomorrow, the chamber will hear testimony of a witness to TCW894. And the chamber would also like to inform the public that the hearing of 2 TCW 894 tomorrow and the hearing of tes testimony of witness 2 TCW 938 on Monday 18 January 2016 and uh, half day session on the next day will be held in camera. Security personnel, you are instructed to take the, the two accused, Nuchi and Kisum Pond, back to the detention facility and have them return to attend the proceedings tomorrow before 9 o'clock. The court is now adjourned. <laughs>